If it is left on hair past the recommended five to seven minutes, dry or brittle hair may be experienced. <sighs> uh, I have mixed feelings about this one, guys. Um, Between concrete walls, there's a place for us. Hola gente, what's up guys? Welcome to another Treatment Tuesday where we test out a new hair treatment on a Tuesday when I don't fail to upload, it happens. But at least weekly we test out a new hair treatment for the very first time on camera and then we decide together if it worked or not. And in today's video, we are going to be um, applying for the very first time the Moroccan Oil Restorative Hair Mask, which promises to strengthen, restore, and nourish very, very deeply weakened and damaged hair. So of course, sign me up for that, my friends. I wanna see if this works, and I'm sure you guys wanna see it too. So after I did this uh, Treatment Tuesday on the Moroccan Oil Intense Hydrating Mask that is going to be linked in the description box below for those of you who missed it. You guys started requesting me to test out this one as well. And uh, yeah, as much as possible, I always try to deliver. But before we begin with application, which is always the most fun part for me, this video is brought to you guys by Le Jardin Infini, real roses that last one whole year. So thank you so much to Le Jardin Infini for giving us these everlasting beautiful rose arrangements and also for sponsoring Treatment Tuesdays. If you guys want to check out more about these rose arrangements, this one over here or that one right here that I custom created myself, I tell you all about it on a video that is going to be linked in the description box as well. It should be applied on top of towel dried hair. Of course, clean towel dried hair. I don't show you guys, but I usually shampoo my hair before I turn on my camera. So I am, you know, just right out of the shower. This has absolutely no conditioner. Let's see what this smells like. That's interesting. So if you guys already had the intense hydrating mask, there is absolutely no difference whatsoever in that department. And also the packaging is exactly the same with the difference that the restorative one has this orange ring. And although I'm not going to apply these uh, two side by side, I might on an upcoming video if you guys are interested. I do want to compare texture just because some of you guys who have tried the hydrating one may be wondering if it is any different. Let's see. So even though the intense hydrating mask is very thick, this one is a lot thicker. So just as a reference for you guys. Um, and it's more like a mousse like a very dense mousse, but it doesn't feel as buttery as, for instance, the Absolute Repair one. So it says to apply on towel dried hair about one inch or two away from the root. And as always, I am doing this in sections for those of you guys who are you know, around here, just because it helps the treatment penetrate better into the hair. It's always advisable to do that. Trapped down on the floor. I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose And then it says to comb through so but I will only use my Tangle Teaser. This was designed by a very renowned um, UK uh, hairstylist and it is the only tool that I trust and I recommend it to absolutely everyone around me. Leave it on for five to seven minutes. Let's make that seven. And yeah, I'm setting the timer right there to seven minutes. And now let's chat a little bit about ingredients and uh, product claims and all those things so that, you know, we have an idea of what to expect. It says it is a formula that is very rich in argan oil as most Moroccan oil line products, right? And it also contains vegetable protein that will help rebuild the hair's structure and restore its elasticity. Now, let's put a little bit of a parenthesis there. From what I know from very 
good sources. The only one thing that was created so far that can actually restore damaged hair is Olaplex. And I have a whole series on so many Olaplex products, pretty much every single one with the exception of the last one, which is still on its way. I still haven't received the Olaplex number seven it is yes so generally speaking again my sources tell me that most hair masks usually do a great job but in improving the appearance of our hair and they do not penetrate the hair um you know like olaplex does so and parenthesis interesting these hair mask is made in israel and there's so many hair products and makeup products that i love that are manufactured in israel so amongst other things that i don't understand because I'm not a biochemist. Uh, it has shea butter, it has hydrolyzed vegetable oil and fruit oils and of course the Moroccan oil and slash argan oil. On the hydrating one there were silicones and on this one I, I have my silicone cheat sheet and at least it's not in there. So maybe it is silicone free? I don't know because it doesn't say that. It's really really important not to overexpose your hair to the product, quoting exactly what it says on the side. As protein is active, if it is left on hair past the recommended five to seven minutes, dry or brittle hair may be experienced. And I definitely do not want that to happen to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off my hair and then I'm gonna come back and style it on camera as I always do. So I'm gonna leave my new friend right here and I really want to start blow drying my hair because I remember when I tested out the intense hydrating mask, I said, oh my God, my hair feels like butter going through my fingers. I remember that line so well. And I want to see what I think about this one now. I can't let it go, chin up, no one knows. But I won't let the stormy seas Throw me in open water, let me have my peace And leave me till tomorrow, wind into my sail I just needed to stop blow drying because I really wanted to share something. I'm feeling a little bit frustrated right now. As I'm blow drying my hair, I feel like I'm getting a lot more tangles than I usually uh, have, so... I don't know. I don't know why that's happening. Now that I see it fully blow dried, uh, I have mixed feelings about this one, guys. Let me just share with you what I just experienced and you be the judge whether this is the right hair mask for your hair type and for your hair concerns. So first thing I wanna say is that when my hair was starting to air dry, I did not film that, but um, I felt like my wavy hair was a lot less frizzy than it would normally be with, you know, a regular conditioner. The other thing that I noticed while blow drying was that my hair is very, very salty. Like a couple of hair strands got in my mouth and I tasted it. It's so strange. I mean, it's not like I go tasting my hair. <laughs> Uh, frequently uh, but I'm pretty sure that does happen to me sometimes and I don't think that I have ever experienced that before with the exception of when I go for a swim in the ocean in the sea there is a small chance I might be wrong but if you ask me this probably has some sodium salt content in the formulation there are some people who do not want that in their hair care and that's why i'm bringing this up so that you guys take a note the other thing i noticed even though now it looks so good and it feels good is that while i was blow drying my hair it just felt like it was a little bit more difficult like less manageable and that it kind of made my hair more tangle prone if that is even an expression. If you're looking for um, a hair mask that will help you detangle your hair, I don't think this is the hair mask 
for you. I've tested out so many hair care products so far in this series and you probably heard me mention this before but sometimes the hair treatments that are aiming at strengthening the hair not be that like buttery soft smooth hair finish that I personally enjoy very much. Does my hair feel a little bit stronger? I would say so, but it also feels a little bit stiffer than I personally enjoy. From what I remember, these are very, very different results. I mean, for sure, I'm going to keep these and use it up because there's nothing wrong with this hair mat. Probably would not repurchase. Whereas this one, I remember I was super impressed with the result I got. If you ask me from what I've tried, thus far if i really want to strengthen my hair what i enjoy the most is to do um, an old plex number three or number two treatment first followed by a keratin treatment so that way i'm getting proteins and i'm getting um you know frizz control and i'm also getting all the power of reversing damage that only Oilplex can give us. And that is a wrap, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you make the right purchase decision for you. Thank you so much to all of you guys who purchased through my links because that truly helps me keep this channel going. I always say since you guys take the time to comment and like and subscribe, why wouldn't I take the time to reply back to you guys? Of course I will, so do not hesitate to leave me a comment, your question, your product suggestion, whatever is on your mind. I'm happy to read it. And thank you for being here. I will talk to you all again on my next one. Ciao. Do you wanna follow?